Okay, I started taking apart the Western handheld controller to do a cleaning video. You clean these things with a Q-tip and I have some cleaning spray. And it was easy to take apart. Got the handle, right? Two screws, take them out. This slides out on the top of here. It was, and then you take the cleaning solution and I clean these off with a Q-tip. All these, including the power one. And um, then I sprayed where the plug goes. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of compound on there. Let me spray this side too. I'm also gonna put a little bit of contact cleaner on there, which I don't even think I, dielectric grease, I don't even think I really need that. But I'm gonna put it there anyway, after I get this plug back in. This proved to be pretty hard. Getting this, this pad plugged back in, it actually is, <laughs> it's tough. I think I gotta get a needle nose plier and pull these pins, each pin through each, each little rubber pin, see those rubber pins? I was really having a hard time getting this together. Let me look at the needle nose. Okay, I might have one in this drawer. I'm hoping I do. No. And uh, I just might want to take you with me into the garage to get a needle nose. But I'm just a guy like you trying to figure out how to get something done. And, then, and once I start figuring it out, I'll make a YouTube video of it. And I like doing them live. You know, like... Um, you know, where things do mess up, you know, so you get to see the real deal, what you might run into. See, like this, I'm having trouble pushing this back. Now, I'm thinking you got to pull these tabs. I don't want to rip these tabs. Ah, uh, that's what it was. All right, so you got to grab the tab. I couldn't get it back before. See this little tab right here? You got to pull it not too hard. You just got to pull it through until that little rubber piece, I'll show you once I get it. Pulling that one hard. Okay. All right. There it is. Now you see how it stayed in place? See that rubber piece right there? And then over there. Now there's a middle one. You got to make sure that's in place. And I hope it is. Now that middle one, I'm not going to be able to grab it unless I get a needle nose. You know what? You guys can come for a walk with me. <laughs> come into my garage. I'll show you the whole handle anyway. So this is what we're dealing with. Okay. I pulled it apart. It was very easy to pull apart. Just two screws. The wire was in there. This was a little sneaky to get out, but I got it out. Here's my dielectric grease. And uh, here you guys come with me for a walk. I'm going to go into my garage to get a needle nose. It's a pigsty in here. And do me a favor. Like and subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. You could get... Yeah, I might be driving an RCR or do some crazy stuff. So do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Let me grab a needle nose. We had a lot of snow out here, by the way. Look, we had a good amount of snow in my area. A lot of snow. All right, so let me get a needle nose so I could uh, quickly, hopefully this one moves. Yeah, it'll work good enough. And that's that. There's like a sound system. See, you never know what you're gonna get. That's a sound system. You know, I buy these things. Sometimes I repair them. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes they're good. That one happens to be a good one. All right, so let's go back and see if we can get this in. The problem I was having with my plow was the headlights go dull. That's normal. But um, sometimes my power would drop out. I don't know if my controller is going bad. I don't know why the power would drop out. And that, that's making it difficult to plow. I don't know what is actually causing it, but it's definitely a nuisance. So... I cleaned all the battery terminals because that's the first thing I thought it was, and that wasn't. Then I cleaned all the terminals going to the plow, and that wasn't it, the issue. Now, the middle one is right in there, in between everything. Okay, now I'm going to pull that one. Then I got to be careful. That was an important one, that middle one. He stopped everything from going through. Now I got the two side ones. You can't push them. You got to pull them through. There we go. So be careful. Don't rip them off. You know, be gentle with it. There we go. We're fully on. Now look. All four sides. See how the pad is onto the circuit board? Nicely all the way around. That's what you want to see. Don't be scared of this thing. If, you're, if your thing is acting funky, clean it up. Now look. This might be a mistake using dielectric grease. I really don't think I need it. 
but I'm just gonna put the slightest bit in there, the slightest bit, and I'm gonna put it in there just so it gets on some of the terminals. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping it, it, you know, it'll help it out. Okay. Now we gotta, oh, now I gotta plug this in and we're good to go. There was a keyway. Oh, I can't even see the keyway now that I put the dielectric grease in there. Okay. Okay, I got it right, or so it went in. Okay. You just plug that back in. Oh, it made a nice click. Clicked right in there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Then you put this, slide this back in here. Make sure you get it in the right spot. Nice. And the wires go around and snap in. Now, you, when you snap the wires in, make sure you don't get the, the plug in the way. See where the wires go? Right in those pieces. Push them in. Get this back piece in. That's so you can't rip the wire out, right? Now, look. See how that went in there nice? Now, you just line up this front thing. Snap it in, bump, bump, that's it. It was that easy, done. Now, what I'd like to find out, I wonder if they sell the whole circuit board. I mean, that would be great because then instead of you replacing your whole controller, I mean, if you could buy that circuit board, I mean, that's great. You just keep everything and just replace that circuit board piece. That's nice if they sell that. So, there we go, done. So now I'm gonna go test it out. Actually, you should come with me. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come with me, I'll show you what, we're, what I'm showing you with this. And if any of you guys have an idea that would help me with this problem, let me know. You know, tell me in the messages what, what you're thinking the problem could be. I can't flip the camera around because I'm already started recording, so I'm stuck. It, not really seeing what I'm showing you because I have the, I have it on the screen side, like the selfie position. That's why I have the camera. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about with the truck and the plow. Here's the truck. Let's open up the door. I'm gonna plug in the plow. And let me show you what I'm talking about with this thing. Let's set up the camera so I can do it in front. Oh, we put it in front. Okay, let's set it up this way. All right, here's your wires. And I got the dielectric grease on there already. Plugged in, now I'm gonna put the key on on. Now, if I don't start it, it should have enough power to work. I mean, always have. Turn it on, there it lit. Now we go up, we it works, okay. Now let's go left and right. Oh wow, that's when it used to drop out. Holy cow. I think we fixed it. Wow, I am so happy. Because before, here's what, what my symptoms were. If I had the headlights on, this plow would not work. It would, the power would drop out. Let's see, now I'm doing it without the truck even running. Look. Oh my God, we fixed it. Now let's start it up just to make sure. And I noticed I had such a drawer on the voltage. Let the voltage drop back. Go back to standard. Now, when I would trigger this thing, which is normal. Oh, it turned off. Wow, it's even less drop. No, there, see the voltage drop it? See that drop? It dropped a little, but that's normal. Wow, it's fixed. Now let's turn on my headlights, because it's daylight. Now they're on, see? Now let's see. We fixed it. Oh, I am so happy, so happy. All right, we're done here, people. And th that, that makes me happy. It was the controller. It was the controller. Now, so I am so happy. That was it. Listen, if your plow acts funny, clean your controller. I cannot believe that that was the problem. Wow. All right, take care, people.